okay so now we are uh, implementing acid type 2 time stamp okay so uh, now i creating targetable acid acid 2 okay and uh, uh, we have to require uh, some uh, more ports uh, like uh, uh, one port is a customer key okay uh, this data type is uh, number and uh, one more uh, for the end date one more port for the end date okay and uh, so data type is uh, date time it is date right now we we are do we have to define the primary key in a customer key okay okay now generate it Close. now we have to take a source table right source uh, this one okay now target your target is uh, here SCD2 it will be three times because there are required three times okay one for the insert second for the update uh, update record and the third one is uh, for the date right okay Lookup is my target table. Lookup table is target. Right. Okay. Now I'm taking uh, CID for the lookup join condition. Okay. So I will be given the comparison between CID is equal to CID. Right. And uh, okay uh, and then after then i will be take the expression transformation in expression transformation i will uh, take the cid customer key from the lookup ta lookup table right and uh, also i'm taking uh, location location from the lookup table and uh, location from the source table right uh, i take uh, location from the lookup because uh, and uh, location one from the source because we just i have to uh, create a condition for the update and insert all right so i will be create two more ports uh, one for the insert okay insert and uh, second is uh, update all right so this is uh, the both are the output port right so then i will be uh, written the condition condition is that uh, if condition if is null right which customer key if customer key is null then it will be uh, written that true uh, otherwise it will be written false okay okay and uh, in the update uh, i will be written if uh, right note is null right customer key note is null and right and if note is null then they decode then we will be comparison between the location okay location and uh, location one then it will be if equals then it will return one and then it will be, otherwise it will be written zero then equals to zero and then i will be define the condition true false right okay so there is uh, some error decode location okay
false invalid symbol if not is null customer key and decode right so return once again is not is null okay customer key right and decode right location comma location one then it will be written one comma zero right is equals to zero comma true comma false okay okay right done now uh, we will take a router transformation for the root the tables okay for the root the table so i will take a customer key for older version uh, old records okay so i will be take a customer key from the lookup table and all the records from the source source table and uh, two ports from the expression transformation for the insert and update condition okay now i will uh, create a router transformation as two group okay so one for is a uh, insert and uh, second is update right so in insert i will give insert right because it will be getting the output in a true and false okay and uh, in this i will give update okay right so now we have created two groups right into two groups now we will connect this one okay so uh, i will connect insert port right cid cid the name location effective date to the insert port right the insert port so i created so insert right insert name and location and this is effect date okay so and uh, also i will be connect uh, cid okay cid name location effect date to this one table okay so cid okay and location and effect date right and uh, then i will be take uh, update strategy right so i will take update strategy in update strategy i will take customer key from update okay and location uh, then a, a effective date effective date from update group okay now i will make connection then uh, for the update strategy uh, i will take one more transformation that is the expression transformation in expression transformation i will drag and drop into both the ports from the update strategy okay and uh, i given the uh, properties uh, okay update strategy expression uh, in the update strategy dd update okay so i give dd update okay okay and uh, now i will create one more port that is uh, that is a uh, end date okay okay end date now end date uh, is uh, date time okay this is output port and there is a, uh, there i will be use uh, date function okay date function is a to date because uh, i have to just uh, a minus day okay day one so i will take dd okay so one day minus okay so uh, comma minus okay minus one right right okay now i will give connection customer key to this port and end date to this port right this connection is okay then 
now uh, after it uh, i will take uh, the sequence generator okay in a sequence generator uh, i will give the connection okay to next value to this one okay and uh, this next value to this one if you are taking only one sequence generator and then take the input uh, give the uh, input to the target table is a customer key first is to this one this one so it will uh, generate the number in by sequence first uh, firstly suppose uh, uh, suppose source table have the 10 records so first uh, uh, first 10 uh, sequence number it will be queued to the first target table and then after complete 10 table uh, 10 number and then it will be generate the number uh, and then give to this one, this step okay so that means uh, 1 to 10 this one table and then after the record is 10 11 12 13 13 then it will be give the this table number sequence number give to this table okay now it will be save right so this is complete your mapping right so it is validate now uh, we are going in the workflow manager right in workflow manager in the workflow manager we will create the session and the workflow and we will design it and then we will run it okay so right so i already created the session the session name is uh, acd acd2 time okay okay so just is open it and uh, okay. check it okay this is okay all right now save it okay so now go to the workflow manager and then uh, this is already i created uh, the workflow and given the connection so now we are going to check uh, okay so we are going to check for that uh, i will be uh, truncate truncate table right scd scd2 right okay and now i'm going to run it okay start it run okay so check uh, your uh, output okay so i got uh, the output that is the uh, three records because uh, my target table is already have uh, also have a three records okay uh, you can check it from here okay so now i'm just updating my source table okay source table so uh, I, I write the query okay so suppose i am updating kolkata to location cid number 12 and kolkata to mumbai okay so i complete it and commit it right and then i will be the run the session and then uh, check out the update records okay you can check it so now it is uh, end date is mentioned updated and then uh, um, more uh, your previous record is uh, showed that uh, to uh, your uh, affected is, is that one and the end date is this and then current data is a uh, mic okay this uh, cid number 12 mic and mobile location is current location and uh, it is affected from the 18th of february 2011 i know so uh, the previous location was kolkata right so kolkata it was spent from 18 february to 17th of february 2011 right so you can short out it okay so you you can also make uh, some more update like 13 so i'm going to make it uh, right us to uh, australia okay commit it right right now start it
you can check out okay so you also get it previous record and current records okay so this is uh, the SAT, SAT type 2 SAT type 2 type stamp okay thank you